Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com. You can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. But for now, I wanted to talk to you about how you can delete a remote GitLab branch. In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to delete a GitLab branch from the admin GUI and push those changes to the client. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually delete the branch on the client and have that deleted branch reflected on the GitLab server. So let's start off by logging into the GitLab Administrative Console. Here we are. Got my GitLab Made Easy project. And I'm going to go and take a look at the repository and just take a look at all the different branches that I've got floating around here. There's that fun feature. Now in a previous tutorial, I deleted that by clicking on the white trash can. People say it's a red trash can. It's not. It's a white trash can on a red background. In this example, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to delete this fun feature branch from the command line. So basically doing it from the client. And so how do you do that? So obviously you open up a terminal window. Now, I'm doing everything locally on the same machine, but this you know, could very easily be a remote machine. And in fact, for this tutorial, let's uh, just pretend that it is. Got my GitLab made easy repository right there. So I'm just going to move into it. Take a look at the different files in there. See what branch I'm on. So I'm on the release branch. Um, you know, I'm going to just go to the master branch. I think a lot of people coming to this tutorial likely will be on the master branch, but there was no need to be on the master branch. However, I want to delete a branch. And the branch that I want to delete is this fun feature branch. And to delete that fun feature branch, I just got to make sure I'm not actually on that branch. And so I'm not on it. I'm on master. Um, so let's go and delete it. So how do you do that? So you just issue this command, git branch dash D for delete, and then the name of the branch. Could not be easier. Now let's see what happens when we list our branches. Well, fun feature is gone there from the list of branches, but look at this. It's not gone as a remote branch. Okay, so it's not good enough just to delete the branch. We've got a, an upstream registered branch here in our local Git environment. What we want to do is we actually want to delete that as well. And not only delete that, but you know, that branch still exists here over on Git, so or over on GitLab. So just because I've deleted fun feature on my client doesn't mean it gets pushed up to the server. So how do we do that? Well, we push it up to the server. So here's the command git push origin dash dash delete. And you choose just dash D, but may as well be verbose here. And then the name of the branch, right? That name of that remote branch right there is fun feature. So I'll issue that command. Root is the username. Password is the password. And now I get a little message that says, OK, we have deleted that remote tracking branch. Now let's see if that's true. Git branch dash A. We no longer have the fun feature branch listed locally. And we no longer have the remote tracking branch listed here either. So that's good. My local environment is nice and healthy. But what about the server? Look, it's not deleted from the server. Ah, I'm just joking. I got to do a refresh here. So I do a refresh, and there you go. That branch is now deleted on the server as well. And so that's how easy it is to delete a GitLab branch from your client machine using, in this case, the terminal window. But you know, you could use Eclipse, Tortoise, any IDE, any environment, any Git GUI that allows you to issue Git commands. Now, one thing I should note is that you know, hotfix, master release, these are all my git flow branches. They're all protected. So if I try to delete a protected branch, that's obviously not going to work. If you want to delete a protected branch, well, you've got to unprotect it. You would do that by going into settings, take a look at your repository, going into the protected branches, and then unprotecting the branch. So you can see these little buttons next to develop, hotfix, master, and release. And there you go. That's how easy it is to delete a branch on the client machine and then push that remote branch delete function up to the GitLab server so that the branch that was deleted locally 
is reflected over on the GitLab server and all of the remote references to that remote branch are all destroyed. Um, so if you want to learn more about GitLab and you want to continue on with these tutorials, head over to the serverside.com and uh, we've got lots of stuff on Git, on GitLab, and also anything server-side. So, you know, it could be agile development, could be microservices, anything to do with Java, that kind of stuff. And of course, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ.